Today's video, we're gonna recreate a self-care day inspired on the Moroccan Haman, which is a traditional bathing ritual that involves steaming, deep cleansing, exfoliating, and oiling to ultimately feel extremely clean, silky smooth, and completely relaxed. So drop a like if you enjoy this video, and let's begin! To recreate the whole Moroccan bath experience at home, we need to prepare ourselves and the room for the steaming process. I want to do something a little bit different than just filling the bath with hot water and since my skin hasn't been looking the best lately, I'm going to add rose water to the steaming process to make this experience even more beneficial for my skin and pleasing eye aesthetic of course. So all I did was pluck 4 organic clean roses into a container Container, and then I left them infused on hot water for 5 minutes. So pretty. These rose petals fix my face. While I wait for the roses, take this time to prepare yourself a nice cold drink to bring with you in the bath during the steaming process to keep yourself hydrated. So ice water or a cold tea like high viscous tea, which is the one that I'm making right now, is perfectly suitable for this. Also, I'm not gonna be wetting my hair for this self-care routine, so it is important to protect the hair from the heat and the water during the Moroccan bath. So all I'm gonna do is to cover my hair with a microfiber towel and then I'm gonna hop in the shower real quick to wash my body with my regular body wash and warm water. The reason you want to pre-wash is because you want your skin to be clean of lotions and sweat before you lay it in the bath full of steam. All right, now that our body is clean, we're gonna fill the bath with hot water so that we can recreate a sauna type of room similar to the Haman rooms. So I will recommend you to put some towels or clothes on the edges of the door or windows to avoid the heat escaping from the bathroom. At this point, the heat is starting to rise in this room. I'm literally sweating. So this is the perfect time to bring the infused roses to the bathroom and then all I'm gonna do is to carefully pour them into the hot water in this way. As soon as I did this, the whole bathroom smelled amazing. It just looked so pretty that I couldn't wait for the bath to be ready. All right, the bath is finally ready. There is tons of steam that it literally feels like a sauna in here. So next, we're gonna slowly emerge our body into the hot water with roses for a minimum of 20 minutes to fully experience the benefits of steaming the body, which helps to soften the skin, opens the pores, increases circulation, eliminates toxins. And my favorite is that it puts your mind into a state of serenity and and relaxation that I haven't felt in a very long time. Also, the steaming process is quite important step in the Moroccan traditional bath because it prepares the skin for the massaging and the exfoliating process. By the way, if the water gets a little bit cold, just keep adding more hot water to maintain the right temperature in the room at all times. I'm pretty sure at this point I ended up spending more than 20 minutes steaming my body, but hey, what I read is that some people spend hours steaming in the hammam rooms, so. But in my case, the feeling of the hot water on my legs and feet was incredible. I legit felt how my muscles were super relaxed. And also, I think that having the ice drink during this whole time make me feel more comfortable than staying this long in the hot water. I like to tell myself that I deserve this very much and I think you also deserve it. 
I think it is time to continue with the Moroccan bath ritual in its traditional form. So, so we're gonna move on to the massaging process, which involves using a natural Moroccan black soap. So I'm going in with natural elephant Moroccan black soap, and it is said that this black soap is made with the same ingredients as soaps found in Moroccan steam rooms, which is what we need. So for this step, we need to massage in circular motions the black soap all over the body so arms chest the back the legs the stomach area until it forms a rich layer and once this happens you're gonna let it sit for one or two minutes to allow your skin to absorb the nutrients like the olive oil the eucalyptus the vitamin e that this black soap contains i must say that at first it was kind of difficult to spread this soap around because of its consistency kind of stuck to the skin they made it hard to move it around but at the end i got the hang of it and i was able to do it anyways about a minute after as you can see the soap has been completely absorbed into my skin so following the traditional bath ritual i'm gonna use some hot water from the rose bath to rinse it off completely And now that I have no soap or nothing on my skin, we're gonna move on to the exfoliating process which involves using a Kesa glove on damp skin. This is a Kesa glove that I'm currently using from Sakya's Morocco, which is a traditional Moroccan Hamad exfoliating glove. And so far, this is one of the best because when I use this on my skin, I scream internally. Let me show you why I said that. All you're gonna do with the Kesa glove is to vigorously rub your entire body non-stop, no breaks, until you see all the dead skin falling off your body looking basically like this. To be honest, as soon as I saw all these chunks of death skin all over me, I just kept scrubbing even harder to the point that I became numb to the pain. Looking at this, it is so true when they say that this exfoliating process make you feel like you have never taken a shower before in your life. <laughs> After scrubbing years of dead skin that I didn't know I had, this is how the bath looked at the end. Yikes! To be honest, I couldn't sit one more minute in that water. Kind of disgusting. <laughs> but at the same time, it was amazing to see how powerful this ritual is in deep cleaning the body. So I end up doing a quick cleaning, you know, so that we can stay as aesthetic as possible. And then I proceed to wash out the gunk and impurities out of my skin using only warm water. And to continue this amazing Moroccan bath ritual, it is time to nurture the whole body with Gasol clay mask. I was literally waiting for this. I love covering my body with clay back in Costa Rica. I used to do that a lot. So for this step, I'm going in with Gasol Moroccan lava clay powder from Natural Elephant. And I have to say, I'm not sponsored by them. I got all these products with my own money and the guide of this useful comment so thank you so much for this anyways to make the right consistency for this clay body mask instructions suggest to mix two ounces of the clay powder with warm water until you form a smooth base and then apply on the skin however i am not following instructions i'm just mixing whatever i consider enough to cover my whole body and face with this by the way the gaso clay is not only for the skin it can also be used on your hair as a hair mask or as a natural shampoo or conditioner which is kind of cool and it will be interesting to try it out another day 
All right, so far I'm loving the consistency of the gasol clay because it runs smoothly on the skin. As you can see, it does not form those weird clumps that some clay masks do. This clay is going to detoxify your skin, reduce inflammation in the body, and it is the ultimate step in the Moroccan bath ritual for creating silky smooth touch skin. So to accomplish this, we're gonna leave it on the skin for 10 minutes, and while we wait, you can watch something, and don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. This is the part that I don't like. Gotta wash it with cold water to promote that blood circulation, to cool those pores, to get out of this bath feeling completely new. Once you get out of the bath, towel dry your body gently, put on something comfy, and then we're gonna finish this amazing Moroccan ritual by oiling the whole body with pure organic Moroccan argan oil. I'm using the one from The Ordinary which is completely pure and it has such a lovely smell. So this step is called the final moisturizing massage which is basically taking your time to massage with gentle pressure your arms, legs, feet, and even your face with the argan oil in this way. I definitely think this step would have been a little bit better experience if there was someone else doing this for me, especially on my feet, but I have to say that the whole Moroccan bath ritual was worth every single minute of my time. I feel extremely clean, soft, relaxed, and ready to sleep like a baby bird. Look at the glow of my legs, the glow of my skin. This is one of the best pamper routines I ever tried to prepare everything, but I promise you, this is so worth it. Like, I cannot wait to do this without Kim. Because, <laughs> you know, I don't have to be worried about angles. When I started, my skin felt very rough. Right now, I just feel baby soft my skin feels so soft i also feel extremely clean i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to share some love to me by subscribing to this channel right here thank you so much for watching i hope i'll get to see you in the next video pura vida